Hey, what's up guys? It is Ian. So I figured I'd take some time to film a little bit of something, something. Okay, so, so I have this little packet of cards, and it is called Chick-fil-A Table Topics. Literally, what do you think? Questions to start great conversations. Now, I got this in a kid's meal from Chick-fil-A probably like a decade ago. Something around that time. It's, I've kept it in my room ever since. I've never used it, but I guess back in the day I thought questions were cool. I don't know if that's a, a cry for help of me wanting friends, or if I just thought these questions were really dope. Either way, I don't remember any of these off the bat. I figured that I would do a style of Q&A, question and answer stuff here, to let you guys know a little bit more about me because I've kind of jumped into the YouTube scene of Starbucks and photography and being a headass and not really telling you anything about me. I'm just kind of some dude, so I don't have to be some dude anymore. Let's get started. What makes you laugh the most? Ooh, that's a good question, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> this is so dumb. What makes me laugh the most? You know what's so weird? How I feel like I'm a pretty funny person, right? And this isn't like a flex or anything. This is just like what I associate my personality slash like my wittiness with. Like I, I like making jokes. Um, but for some reason, I feel like I don't laugh enough. Like I want to laugh more. My friend Timmy is just a naturally funny dude. And like the way that he expresses certain statements can be really funny and like comedic. And Emily's boyfriend Brandon is also really, 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 really funny. The dude is just so dumb. <laughs> this is so dumb. Also, Emily and Rebecca and Chloe, just the friend group, are all like great at making me laugh. I don't even know how to put it in like nice ways. Like we all know we're dumb. And Rachel also makes me laugh quite a bit. Quite a bit. And we play off each other very well too, so we're just we're just good at making humors. Humor is all so just be stupid, and that's funny of me. If you could devote one hour every day to learning whatever you wanted, what would you most like learn? Did I really not say that right? What would you most What would you most like to learn? Okay, if I had one hour, well, I want to learn how to play an instrument. I'd love to learn how to play an instrument. I want to like be consistent and like maybe learn guitar because I think guitar is dope and acoustics can be done on like so many songs. Just serenading, serenading and expressing yourself that way. What's your most prized possession? The thing that is filming right, right now is my most prized possession. But if we're talking like non-tangible, like not an object, probably just friends and family, genuinely. The most basic thing you could say, but at the same time, it's just so valuable to me. I wouldn't be me without the people I know and who've, who've shaped me. Aww. That's that's on Ed Sheeran. Shape of yay. What's your favorite thing about summertime? I can tell you it's not the humidity. We're literally on the least coast right now, okay? I'm not gonna vouch for the New England colonies, <laughs> the New England area of, I literally called them colonies. I'm sorry, New Hampshire, but I'm just saying. The, the states up like Northeast, I don't really know well, so maybe it's not as humid there, but humidity sucks. Favorite thing is probably no school because the thing about that is like you can do so much with your friends and like have free time. <laughs> What's your earliest memory? That is a good question. Um, I feel like I watched baby tapes of myself when I was younger and I convinced myself that for some reason I remembered it. Probably sitting on like a futon in like Colorado and my mom was like, um, what was she doing? She was like holding me and like raising me up and down to like play with me. And there was like a map on the wall next to the futon. Um, I feel like I was there, like I remember that. Um, yeah. My dad also sat me in his lap one time when I was pretty young. And he, I guess, drove very, very slowly, like one mile per hour down the driveway at our house um, where I live now, or lived. That was pretty cool. I think just <laughs> driving at like two years old. Just kidding. I don't think it was the way I remembered it. What are you looking forward to in the future? Okay, so I have kind of goals. I haven't really implemented a plan for those goals, but they're like things I'm conscious about and think about all the time. I want to drop weight to where I feel like I don't have A cups. I don't think I do, but I feel like I could definitely shed off some body fat. My future goals is to just have a really good family. I just want to be in a great family with a love and a life, and I don't know how many kids I want, but I don't know where I imagine myself living really. I've always 
fantasized about the West Coast. Northwest states like Oregon, Washington, California, and even Canada. I know that's not a state, but like, I mean, if this election goes a certain way, maybe Canada's in my future. I just love the woodsy areas and like being away from society a little bit, but at the same time, you can like go to a nearby city and like enjoy both, the best of both worlds. What is your favorite part of the day and why? That's a tough way. I think the mornings are great because I can always start my day with a nice cup of iced coffee. I've been like limiting how much I drink though, and I haven't been getting headaches, so this is promising. I need to face my addiction. So after a really tiring day, I just love like the end of it, just being able to lie down in bed and just vibe out to music and just sleep. It's the best. What's the one city you've never been to that you'd really love to visit? I've been fortunate to visit quite a few really cool places. I've never been to Boston. Boston seems pretty cool. Okay, maybe Paris, maybe Paris. But if I had to choose one I wanna go revisit, either Los Angeles or um, Denver, where I was born, because I really like Colorado. Great mountains. What is your favorite family tradition? I feel like my family is not a big tradition kind of oriented fam. I can name one from like a childhood though. Like I remember for every year Christmas came around, my dad, sister, and I would get paper rings. We'd cut out like rings, like a chain link formation. And for every day closer to Christmas, we'd rip a chain off. I don't know if you guys had like the Playmobil Christmas sets, by the way, the ones that are like the Jesus in the manger and stuff. Those things were always lit too. Describe the best job you could ever have. Well, it all starts with a camera and youtube.com because I hope to be a vlogger one day. Like, I hope I can, who is texting me in this time? I would love to be a vlogger. I don't know if I would like to do it full time. I don't know if I see that in my future, but like, that'd be a great. Share your life, literally have people watch you live your daily-ish. And it's just fun because it's like the aesthetics of it, like having like an organization, being proud of like the editing and stuff. It's just a good time. Making coffee is also something I've been doing, so. That's a pretty great job. I don't know, I'm not, like I love photography. My friends always think I wanna do photography for like a living, but I don't. But at the same time, it'd be great to photograph for like celebrities and like do magazine covers. If I had like an application to like sign your name here and meet a bunch of people, I would say yes. What's your favorite song and why is it your favorite? It is so hard to choose a favorite song when there's like thousands and thousands out there. I can tell you my current favorite songs maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. If there's something to know about me, it's that I don't know lyrics to songs. And even when I think I do, I just like murmur to myself and I look stupid. <laughs> don't Stop Believing by Journey was always a vibe and an incredible like talent show song I wanted to do. But then Starlight by Muse was also a great song from my childhood, which I did do for a talent show. Maybe I'll react to my talent show video in another video. That's scary. I, that was a repressed memory I didn't like. My favorite song that comes to my head, like when I first think of it, is either Sanctuary by Joji, a really fantastic, amazing song. Go check it out. It's a definitely a different vibe. It's not, maybe it's a little bit synthy. It's got like a space theme to it. Just go listen for yourself. And, and also, The Glorious Five by Logic is my favorite Logic song ever. It's just a great message. I like the vibe, the instrumental. You know how like you listen to a song on an album or like maybe an album, like sticks out to you because you had memories you associate with it like I remember working at Starbucks For like the first few months driving on the highway in my first car ever my Volkswagen Jetta to go to one of my coworkers houses and Like vibing to that album, and I think that's just one of those memories I have What would you like to be famous for if I did like a spit on the question and said what I want to be known for even like traits I just want to be known for somebody who's like bubbly and like cringy, but also like a cringy that's likable and fun, but I also want to be known for my creativity when it comes to photography and like videos because I like I feel like editing and having a good eye for stuff is cool and it's one of the things that I'm proud of. I don't like to hype myself up because I feel like it's like egotistical, but at the same time those are the things that like stick out about myself. Um, I guess also I like the way I dress. I've been kind of slacking lately, but it doesn't mean I have sl don't have slacks. <laughs> if you know what I mean. What is your favorite TV show, book, and movie? My god. Y'all really hit me with that. Favorite TV show? Man, this is so hard. I can tell you like a top a top few. That 70s show, How I Met Your Mother, Friends, Psych. Oh my god. There's just so many shows. I'll have to do like a video on that or something. Book, book. I really do not come at my throat. 
I'm not a huge reader, but um, I think books like Invisible Man, East of Eden, Great Expectations, Crime and Punishment, those are all books that I genuinely enjoyed that I know nobody else in my class thought were good. Like genuinely, everybody either spark notes it, which I understand, I kind of did that a little bit, but for the most part, like the bulk of the book I read and like thoroughly enjoyed, I just like, I don't know. It's weird that I don't like reading because at the same time when I do read, it's always fascinating and takes me into like a totally different like mind state. Favorite movie? God damn it. That's another hard one. Um, the movie Her is really great. I used to be obsessed with the, the Planet of the Apes movies, like the remakes. I just love the storytelling. I know it's like very sci-fi and fantasy, but it was just a very woke message and it just really showed that human nature is just trash sometimes. I have a list of my favorite movies in my phone. I'll have to do a something on that too, I don't know. But those are two great movies, series, slash movies. Who would you like to have as a, na as a new neighbor? David Dobrik maybe? And if you know my channel because of my David Dobrik house vlog, I'm so sorry. I literally hate that I did that. But, you know, if I could be neighbors with him, I totally would. The ultimate mom can I play next door with the lit neighbor. He's a vlogger. I would totally do that. What special talent would you like to have? I think it'd be cool if I could dance. I'm not good at dancing, but I wish I was like coordinated. What is the most important quality you look for in a new friend? Um, honestly, if you're receptive to my music taste, are open to listening to new songs, that's always really cool. Because I feel like I struggle to find songs that other people like. But at the same time, it's always like such a rewarding feeling. I don't know what it is about like people, but like, when somebody likes your taste in music, it just makes you feel, it just amplifies your confidence and like makes you feel like the ultimate like powerhouse. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But it's like, yo, you see, you feel the same vibes I do? That's fucking lit. Besties for a lot. Or just like incredibly sweet and like understanding because a lot of the times I don't text back on time or I'll be, I'll, maybe I'll say something offensive that I later regret or like don't realize. Just somebody who's forgiving and has an under, understanding, caring nature. What's your favorite subject in school and why? Ah, uh, English, because I like expressing myself through writing. I think it's creative and like a cool way to take your brain and just put it on a piece of paper. You can also interpret certain texts and read something and interpret it a completely different way from someone else. But also again, like the books I read and stuff were just really fun to like analyze and just read. Which three words would you use to describe yourself? Okay. I want to be known as funny, I guess, because I just, I feel like confident in my cringe. Like I've mastered the art of cringe at this point. And I think in, in that sense, I know how to be cringy to the point where people are like, oh, you're funny, but like, stay the f away from me. Um, also probably caring. I love my friends and like my family more than anything in the world. I would hate to like let somebody down. And also, I'm selfless, I feel like, because I'll, I offer to pay for things too much, but also I, um, I try and make other people happy, make sure that they're comfortable and accepted in an environment that we're both in. Where do you think you'll live when you grow, when you grow up? Um, yeah, again, like the West Coast, probably. If it's not the West Coast, like all those states up there, I want to live in London so bad. Like, my mom's side of the family, her sister's, is up there with my two cousins and my uncle. I would love to live up there, just bond with them, and also just, I love London. London's f freaking great. Europe is amazing, literally. That's on that. And the last question here is, what are the most fun things to do near your home? That is actually kind of cool, a cool ending point, because I don't fully know my home yet. I just moved into this place like yesterday, so it's all fresh to me. Actually, no, I moved in two days ago. Wow, time is flying by. I am I guess we'll figure that out together. But back at home, we're like home home. Um, I mean, the beach was always the hot commodity. Starbucks, literally everywhere. There's 20,000 locations worldwide. It's just one of my hot spots. I like the local coffee shops around where we li I live. And um, I also like the AMC theater, I don't know. I like the state parks slash the, um, the small local parks too. And um, there's a great breakfast place that my friend group and I go to and went to recently. The area that that's in is pretty rural and really cool. But also just like the fun thing to do is just what you make of where you live. Like I just go on late night drives with friends and stuff. 
and I get familiar with like cool neighborhoods and stuff. Like nothing crazy. You can kind of make the most of wherever you are. Just have a good friend base to do it with. Or if not, go solo. It's like good to clear your mind and like do stuff on your own sometimes. Also, do a like count of how many times I said the word like. Uh, I don't think their number's that high. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope that you learned something about me. I kind of learned something about myself in the process. I've, I've never really asked these questions and like, I, again, the like. I just, I, I kind of learned more about myself in this process because I'm generally not really thinking about this stuff, so. Also, I need a new outro. What do I, what do I say? I want to have like a trademark. I always say peace dudes, but it's kind of lame. I'm not going to call you embryos. I guarantee it. That's not happening. Ever. Say you want me now, I am scared as hell. Yeah, I don't even know if you are nervous. But like, 